Man, it is Breckenridge Elkins on Gangster Bolshevist Broadcasting. And I'm pretty sure we're live. We're recording Renegade Radio. I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> right now, I have Gangster Bolshevism 2.0 in front of me. Our party line. From you, the audience, it will go forth throughout the world, proclaiming the platform of Gangster Bolshevism 2.0, a fist in the face driving your feet into your throat. Gangster Bolshevism represents angry third worlders with machetes whose time has come. Gangster Bolshevism represents a hammer in the face of a bourgeoisie debutante. Gangster Bolshevism represents a new order blood spurting from the veins of an empty and aging western world to quench the thirst for a righteous vengeance. Shall we not go for the juggler? Violence has become less mythic in this case. In a society of sheep such as we now live in, <clears throat> the only individuals who those devotees of the supreme ego and its own are serial killers. That means nobody else is an individual. The serial killer <clears throat> is the only type who embraces both radical individualism and the principles of dictatorship. He creates a temporary autonomous zone in which he is in supreme control with the power of life and death over his subjective victims. This is art, bloodshed on a canvas, transposition of existence onto a higher plane. In a society whose participants are hellbound, there is no discrimination. The serial killer reigns. A natural progression of events. Without blood on the asphalt, how can we prove our existence as human beings? If corpses do not clog the alleyways, can we prove that there are anything more than consumerous zombies in a world of the post-human? Manifold examples of mutilated malcontents now rise to speak as best they can. If subhumanity can only primitive can only express himself through rap, is it not better than the sub? post-human who cannot impress, express himself at all, impress, leave any impression worth, worthy of the name on the world stage of history whatsoever. <clears throat> we envision a world where stormtrooping has been replaced by flash mobbing, wilding. Enough walks in the park with red cheek girls, as Edward Lemonard once wrote. It is time to walk with loyal comrades underneath a red flag. We will enthrone Justin Bieber, Bieber as supreme king over the Juggalos and offer every woman under 21 free hymen restoration surgery. In the words of Albert Edward Limonov, in one of his best-known poems, the pygmies have taken the city of Muchacha. They're four feet tall, the radio intones. <clears throat> and I am delighted, thrilled, that the pygmies have taken the city of Muchacha. I wonder... Will they remember to rape all the big women and burn the place down? And this is again.